Hello, Fountain Health family. So, last night I cooked a bunch of cauliflower and broccoli because I needed to cook it up. Well, I'm not actually going to eat all that cauliflower and broccoli, so I went in my refrigerator. And this is what I want to teach you guys about is um, you don't have to follow a recipe to uh, use stuff up in your refrigerator. Um, my mom used to make um, refrigerator soup, she'd call it. And she would just create stuff out of the refrigerator. And I think that is so excellent because you can use a recipe as a guide to give you ideas. But basically, remember, we're going to do the five flavors. We're going to do sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and hot. Those five things. So I have with me here... Um, okay, I have the... Uh, here, I'll let you look at it this way. Okay, I have the cauliflower, broccoli. I have some leftover mashed potatoes that I made for my son's birthday. And I have a jalapeno pepper, so for my hot. And I have basil. So I was going to create something out of the mashed potatoes, the cauliflower, broccoli, the basil, the jalapeno pe pepper. And, um, okay, so something else I... Um, wanted to share with you is how to cut up the jalapeno. Through experience I've learned to wear gloves because those things are nasty. I don't like things hot. I'm not a hot girl. So let me show you how my little... Is that a Dior over there? Is that that dog? Say hi Dior. <laughs> he's, he's a ham. He wants to be on the video too. Okay, so... This is what I've learned, is the heat is in the seeds and the membrane. And this stuff is nasty hot. So what I'm going to do, I was uh, doing this, and I got some, I washed my hands, everything. And I rubbed my cheek, oh my gosh, it burned. And my hands even burned, my fingers. It was like, oh my lord. Alright, so get all those little seeds out of there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just um, cut up these. Okay, so, and I'm going to rinse off my knife so I don't want any seeds. It's like, yikes. Okay, and then I'm going to saute my onions. And all I'm going to do with the little jalapenos is just cut them up in little um, chunks like this. And they taste really good in... In stuff it gives us this nice little yummy flavor okay also I have all these cherry tomatoes I need to use up so I'm going to be thinking about how to do that also okay okay so what I did was um, I chopped up the cauliflower and there's just a little bit of broccoli underneath and then I cooked um, onion garlic and the jalapenos just a little bit and now what I was thinking of doing is I cut up those um, tomatoes and they're going to cause there to be more liquid. So I'm going to put them in the pan and I'm going to cook them down. So I'm cooking down my tomatoes and instead of, I'm just going to keep cooking them and cook off the um, liquid. Isn't that a good idea? So then it'll be nice and thick. Also, I was looking in my refrigerator again, and I found some bell peppers, so I'm going to cut those up and put it in there. Okay, so I um, have my sweet, which I think of the onions. I have my salty, which can be salt. A sour, the tomatoes can be sour, bitter, the basil, and hot, the jalapeno. Then I was thinking with the basil, I could add, like, canned salmon. That would be fun, but... I already have canned salmon, and what my husband pulled out of the refrigerator again was some ham. He's going through our freezer, and it needs to be eaten up. So I'm thinking I'm going to dice some ham okay, in there. Okay, let's start mixing it all up together. So I have here. All right, so I have my potato. You know what all that is. I have my cooked down. I added the bell pepper and tomato. 
So this isn't really liquidy, so I don't feel I have to add rice. This is pretty much going to be a vegetable melody. Um, then I have my basil. So we're going to put that in there. You might think, well, that's going to taste a little different. This is what it's all about. It's about being fearless. Okay, and then we have the ham. I'm not, I just have to tell you, I'm not a huge ham fan. Um, but this kind of makes it a complete meal. And I have to, like, eat it up. So, um, I'm, I'm just not a... A much of a pork fan, but um, you know, it, it to each its own. It, you know, nothing is horrible. You have to bless your food. Okay, so that's the important part. Having good energy around what you make. And let me tell you, there is love coming from my heart all over this yummy food. So this is love food. Okay, so let's mix it up. Okay, so the deciding factor, I am going to add something creamy. The deciding factor was the Fa 0% fat because this is going to expire this month and the sour cream is going to last longer. Okay, so that was the deciding factor. Logical, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, less fat? Okay, good. Now, I'm okay with fat. Fat doesn't make us fat. It's the carbohydrates that make us fat. You guys all know that, right? Well, I'm telling you, historically, I got uh, we've eat, always eaten a high-fat diet. Our ancestors ate a high-fat diet. We didn't have all the processed food. That's the problem. Okay? So, don't be afraid of fat. I'm just, I would have no problem with sour cream. Um, logically, it's so many calories in, so many calories out. So I eat like the skin of the organic chicken. Um, I just like using it other places. So I, you know, I like butter in my eggs. So I'd rather have that than a sour cream. So I weigh it out. But I don't want you to think I'm all negative on fat because I totally am not. Olive oil, butter, um, yeah, totally good. All right, so I'm going to use about half of this because... Um, And this is going to just like cream it up and make it really <gasps> yummy, creamy. Yeah, I just, this is turning me on more. Okay, I had another change. Um, I'm just looking at the casserole and I'm feeling like it's going to be too liquidy. So I have here the um, uh, Aborio rice and I just have a little bit in the bag. And what I'm going to do is just, okay, I'm just going to mix it in. So this is like super simple, not doing too much. That's probably a fourth of a cup. I'm just going to mix it in. I'm mixing in the Parmesan cheese with it. And then I'm just going to top it with Parmesan cheese again. But this rice is going to soak up. It'll cook. Um, but it's going to soak up the um, moisture because I really want it to stay thick. That's that's what I want. So I'm just going to make sure it's all covered. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven. Well, actually, I took it out about half an hour ago. Okay, so it is totally got and nice. Um, the rice is cooked. And I'm so glad I did the rice because this is really yummy. So I'm going to taste it. Well, I actually already tasted it. But I'm going to taste it in front of the camera. Okay. Um, and by the way, it was really good. You can really taste the um, jalapeno. Mmm. This is so good. It has the jalapeno. It is so, this, see, all I did is just create it just like that. This is really delicious.